Artichoke, artichoke. It's been a while. I guess I'll flip it around so we can see if it dies. <laughs> it's Tone day will film better somehow. Yeah. Will we? No. <laughs> I mean, someday. Things change whether you want them to or not. Okay. Welcome back to the channel. It's my terrible catchphrase. Um, That's fine. Mine never gets better. So. Uh, we're going to do another new additions video because we got some neat stuff. And it's the middle of the night in Canada. So we're using just All lamps. the lamps we own. <laughs> but simplest and first things first, we got a Canadian rum. Yeah, mostly. Now, yeah, it's named after John A. McDonald's. Fuck him. Less woo. But, like I said, Canadian rum. We have a bottle of Screech and a Newfoundland rum already, kind of repping North America. Kind of. But, this is local. This is Western Canada. Why else would it be named after John A. McDonald? It says nothing about the flavor. Yeah, I was actually looking for a location. Doesn't say that either. So it mentions the Crow's Nest Past. Yeah. So southern Alberta. Well, and... This was just marked with a sticker at the store that said local. So... I'm guessing that means local. For those of you who don't know where the Crow's Nest Pass is, Google it. Does it smell like anything? Is this going to be another episode where we're worried we have COVID? I, that was my first thought. I was like, uh oh, I don't smell anything. <laughs> I smell nail polish remover. I smell Ango, so I still have a sense of smell. That's good. It might just be that it's in the bottle. Cat might knock over my beer over there. I'm watching the cat. Watching the cat. She's she's hanging out. Cat's leaving the beer alone. That's good for the cat. Oh, that's what's some, some white white rum that talks about John A. McDonald, but not about the rum. And it talks Always it talks about song. boot talks about bootlegging. He's the man behind the barrel, the man who painstakingly distills each spirit by hand. Some say he's from parts unknown, while others say he's a retired bootlegger from Crow's Nest Past. No one really knows for sure, but they do know one thing. When he shows up, he never ceases to amaze those in his company. Like the time he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a grizzly bear and walked away with a salmon in his hand. I said salmon. You did. Or the time he showed up unannounced to a local poetry slam and left the reigning champ in tears. Who is this man of mystery? His name is Johnny McDonald, and this is his rum. Maybe it's not a reference to Johnny McDonald at all. Maybe it is a different dude named Johnny, Johnny McDonald. Johnny McDonald? And they decided to market that? Yeah. Yeah, it might be. So we can find out more about Secret Barrel Distillery sometime in the future. I just really enjoy how the Please Drink Responsibly just has a moose. It does. Just a tiny moose on the label. Yeah, so this is... This also says imported, though. Why is it? <laughs> we should have done some research before filming. No, I like the mystery. Okay, This well, is our local imported. <laughs> band name. Just smells... It smells like, like, like nothing. Alcohol. Yeah. Well, it tastes like nothing, too, but can't, I can't say I object strongly to that. Because as you can see, didn't make any face, didn't take a sharp breath or anything like that. This is mighty smooth. Like, it's, it's making me salivate, because it is alcohol, mm. but this is eminently drinkable. Like you, I have no problem whatsoever drinking this, just... Just neat. I'm just disappointed it doesn't have any rum. Mm. That's true. Guys, guys, this funk. is a this, this is, is a vodka. vodka. <laughs> guys, you made a vodka? Guys, you made vodka. Vodka already exists. <laughs> Did you make vodka with sugar? Because congratulations. Okay. I I'm seeing low battery life on the camera. Let's Ooh. pick up this pace. Okay. <laughs> The most exciting thing. Uh, do you want to do apples? 
I don't know how warm it is. Uh, that can be, let's do this. Cat causing problems in the other room. Yes. Um, if we end up refilming anything because of the lights are bad too, then that's fine too. But I mean, let's get this done because this is supposed to be exciting. Most exciting part, we have actually local. The Burwood Distillery is in Calgary. Um, so, woo. This is their small batch winter flavors of a spiced apple gin, but it changes color. Uh, what you can't see is it's a very nice blue, actually. Mm, it really is. It's very Romulan ale, um, and it's supposed to be just a nice spiced apple. So, satisfying. I don't know how much we're going to need to get the effect, so we're going with a hefty pour. That is uh, a color of, of booze that I like. I love when things just look like fucking Windex. All right, and the lighting is terrible for this, absolutely. Suck balls. You need it to be backlit. Yes. Um, this would be a moment where if we yeah. had like an under lighting, it would be. This is like the absolute color of blue curacao and things that are just artificially blue. It's... yeah. So, the secret behind this is you're supposed to add a tonic or a soda. It's gross. <laughs> is it really? Ooh, that smells jun juniper? I don't think that's a but juniper smell. No, it's not. I don't associate that with anything potable. It's got a bit of pine, and I don't understand what else is happening. Anyway. It gets around to apple, but not in a good way. Alright. Do you want to pull the camera off and do a nice... A nice shot. Here comes the supposed magic. That was cool. Mm. It's purple now. <laughs> Ta-da! Like if you like, if you make something very, very dense, and then and then it. dilute it, it can go from blue to purple. All right, give it a taste. Yeah, okay. yeah, see if that changed anything. It's, it's a lovely shade of purple. You just held it off camera now. <laughs> um... Sucks. Yep. <laughs> We've had other stuff by Burwood that is actually good, but um Ugh. In the in the words of, of Justin McElroy, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> That's Ugh. Okay, now we're going to try this Oof. cold and hot. Cold and hot. The last thing that got, I hope, is decent for the purposes of we bought a bunch of stuff is the Old Apple Betty, which is just a brown sugar apple liqueur. It smells delicious. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's a niceness to it for sure. It does kind of taste the way I wanted it to taste. Did you heat some up or did you just make some hot water? No, I heated some. Okay, well, grab it. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, I'm coming around to... I'm suspicious of 
things that taste this specific. Like, there's an unnatural, like, liquid shouldn't taste this much like, like, like a really good apple crumble. You're suspicious because it's tasty? Well, it's a context thing, right? Mm. I, you know, I love chocolate cake, but if you gave me a liquid that tasted exactly like that, my suspicions would be raised. Fair enough. Because liquids don't taste that way. The heated... I can't tell if I prefer it hot or cold. I mean, it is just very cidery, which is lovely. Mm. Yeah, I got it because winter is eventually going to arrive. And the Christmas season should already be upon us, but isn't. Uh, it's almost there. And I thought, like, you know, an apple. Plus, we were drinking some Calvados the other day. and uh, I don't, don't think I've mentioned it properly in any videos. But Calvados is made from apples. And either I got, because the only bottle I've ever found, so either we got a shitty Calvados or Calvados is shitty. But I wanted something to make some good apple cocktails. And uh, this will work. Like, this and some peanut butter whiskey might, might be great. Just the two of them together. Or, like, this and Frangelico. Because I also think that peanut butter whiskey is kind of weird and gross. And I, I, I think Frangelico is a better choice. Why can't I find it? You're not looking where it is with the whiskey. That's a good reason. It's entirely possible that it just tastes like peanut butter now. Yeah. Um, ball, I don't know what you're up to, but you're strong. Yeah, it's really strong and really specific that makes me not a fan of it. It's one of those tastes that's just so dominant, it doesn't, like, it doesn't allow any other flavor in. I mean, it does taste like peanut butter apples, actually. It's nice. That's, uh, that's really nice. It, ta it takes the syrupiness out of Screwball, and somehow makes me less... Confused it, about why this tastes so much just like eating an apple crumble. It does really balance out both things. Yeah. This the two unnatural flavors, or flavors that I find unnaturally strong and specific, kind of come together and create something that tastes like a nicely balanced Christmas drink right now. Yeah, that's mm. lovely. I think I'm going to warm up some more of this and mm. just put some screw mm. in and have a nice evening. And, um, these... <laughs> so this was also... That is great. This was also listed as local. Yeah. So, good on them. Good on Back 40 Distillery. Okay? Hell yeah. You guys, killing it. Thank you for this small batch. Thank you for bottle 111 of batch number 34. Um, anti-shout out to Burwood for this freaking nonsense that sounded like a cool idea that... I'm now mad that I asked for. And you made vodka. Vodka already exists. The most disappointing thing in the rum chest, probably. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, don't I don't even want to put it in the rum chest. Same. Is that wrong? You lied. Yeah. You I guess people who have only ever had Captain Morgan and were like, oh, it's, they'll drink it. I mean, it is it's the best vodka I've ever had. <laughs> I've never had a vodka and been like, this is really nice, I, I don't dislike drinking it. So, good on that, but yeah, this... I mean, if we ever need, if anything ever calls for just a white rum, then we don't want to throw all the balance. Yeah, if, if we want to add, well, just like vodka, if we want to add booze to a cocktail, but all the other flavors are already balanced and all that. If we want to infuse something else, mm. we could use that. But yeah, there, this has... It's drinkable. It just has no flavor notes whatsoever. Um, so yeah, big big shout out one to Back Forty. Camrose, you got one thing. Congratulations. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap up this video. Camera not dead. Woo! Give us your signature catchphrase. I wish I ate.